In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to navigate the menu screen that you will encounter if you decide to take your project and burn it to a disk of some kind. I have on the screen a project with four short clips in track number one. Let's assume I'm finished with my project and now I want to burn a disk. It might be a Blu-ray, might be a DVD. How do I do that? Well, I begin by clicking on the button at the top called Create Disk. And when I do that, I see an entire new screen pop up with all kinds of options. Now, if I'm in a hurry and I don't mind the defaults, for example, calling my disk the My Video, which is kind of lame, uh, I can simply click on the lower right corner and burn a 2D, or if I have a 3D project, a 3D disk. But what I'd like to do is show you how to use all of the features of the menu system to do something much more customizable uh, that fits your particular project. We're going to have several lessons on all the things that you can do through this menu system. But this initial lesson will basically show you a little bit about your options. So let's begin by looking at some of the areas of the screen and what they allow you to do. One of the things we're going to look at the right side in another lesson you can do is you can obviously edit the name of your video and you can edit any of the labels which act as titles about how to move through the video from one part of the menu to another. You also have an option here where you can uh, decide how to navigate actually through your menu structure. We'll show you more about that. You also have the option of making the video begin with background music, as you would see, say, in a Hollywood type of DVD. You can also change what the video will, will look like when it begins to run. You can actually play a file that's not part of your video, but that augments your video and you can control the playback mode. We'll have an entire lesson on the entire right screen of this option. And then the other things that you can do is you can change the content. When I click on the content tab on the left, uh, I have my titles. I can show the chapters by clicking here and I can see them by chapter title or I can click the double headed arrow and I can see them in terms of where they begin in my timeline in terms of how many minutes, uh, seconds, and frames they are. And we'll show you other things that you can do. I can also relate uh, to the menu structure here and we'll show you what this means and how you can change that in an upcoming lesson. And then we also have a tab called Menu Preferences we'll be looking at. This gives you one of about 15 templates that are built in also templates you can download and templates you can create on your own. And then you also have the option of looking at how to burn a 2D disc, a DVD, Blu-ray, AVCHD, and all the settings there. Or if you have the right kind of project, you can also burn a 3D disc. And there are different options available for that, given the nature of your project. So this is the basis of your screen. We're going to edit how the titles look. We're going to look at how to customize one template or another or create a new one. And we're going to look at the beginning um, features that we have when we begin to load our program in CyberLink PowerDirector. So there's lots to learn and we'll be showing you how to customize this to make it fit your particular desires as you take any of your projects and convert them to a disc uh, for people to see and enjoy.